Hey everyone, this is the Films of Bensie Entertainment here with a new movie review of Gremlins from 1984, directed by Joe Dante. Joe Dante was first known for directing Piranha, but Gremlins was better known from Joe Dante. Gremlins was actually a Christmas horror movie, one of the first of its kind. And starred a little creature called a Mogwai. And is given the nickname Gizmo. By the father who buys him at a Chinese store in Chinatown. Even though this is a Christmas movie. It isn't really Christmas anymore as of the time this video was posted. But anyway... At the store, there is this person who warns the um, warns the father that if you beat him after midnight, and if you spill water on him, two things: he will turn into a gremlin, and he'll spawn more mogwai. And if you feed them after midnight. They'll turn the Gremlins as well. Actually, there's three things. Anyway, in fact, this does happen, and they go on a rampage. Gizmo's the only good Gremlin, aka Mogwai. Actually, the Mogwai is a BB version of a Gremlin. Anyway, the movie is said to be full of 80s fun, and that's what this is, honestly, I think. From most people's perspectives, at least. At the end, something happens. I'm not going to go into it for people that haven't seen this. But in my opinion, it's just the worst out of this film. And I never liked it because it made me so pissed off that they did this. Anyway, the only thing that I got out of it was that I wanted to punch Joe Dante in the face because of what really happens at the end. It's not the most pleasing ending I've ever seen, but... I remember my friend saying, don't blame Joe Dante, blame the writer. And really, I didn't want to blame, blame anyone anymore after hearing about, you know, what happens in the sequel. I'm not going to go into the sequel. But all I can say is that I remember seeing that one with my film teacher or video teacher. I don't know. But that's where I learned about what happened in the sequel. And I was reassured. And that's all I can say about that. There is actually more I wanted to say about Gremlins, like the analogy of the Mogwai, and even what made me like this film a lot. But first I'll go into what made me like this film a lot first. For one thing, Gizmo, most of all, reminds me of my plush doll Yuki. Mainly because of their size and cuteness. Gizmo is like a living version of Yuki. Look at him. He's adorable. Look at him. Plus the other Mogwai pretty adorable too. Especially Stripe in his early form. Well, I can't go too much into him. But you can see what I mean, right? <laughs> anyway. The other thing I want to get into. Might be very long. But I'll still go into it anyway. It's something about how... The Mogwai in this film work. If you splash water on them. They're um. Possibly being. Uh, I don't know if I should say this word but. Raped. Because it. Water is like. Uh, I don't know. Semen to them. And then there's the fact that they're giving birth to other Mogwai. And uh. There is one point in which they're inside eggs. And they become gremlins. This means that they're in their imago forms, which are gremlins. Prior to that, those larva forms, equivalent to butterflies, are actually the mogwai, which Gizmo is, and he doesn't want to become a gremlin. He refuses to become a gremlin because I don't know why, honestly. He just probably wants to stay cute, I guess. Anyway, it's a good movie. If you can see it from 
a different perspective from, from, from what I saw. Anyway, that's all I have to say.